Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everybody, uh, gonna recap my trade here on WBA because I broke a rule today and I want to explain that to you because um, I think a lot of people have questions about the risk strategy that I have in place and uh, a lot of people are skeptical on it. Um, and also I believe that a lot of people think you need a big account in order to trade large caps. And so we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about account size necessary to do these types of things and that I feel is necessary. And then, um, and then also we're going to talk about the risk strategy here. So this morning watching this, uh, set up. This is the first thing that goes through my mind, okay? This is a potential long because if you look at the one-year chart, um, and if it had the moving averages on here like I usually have on my analysis chart, you would see that this gap up today is a trend reclaim, okay? So the reclaim is what has everything on watch for me. Now, the next part to this is uh, that I think it's a potential long, even though SPY is gapping down very big. Uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't look like it's very big, but when you look at the charts, you can look at like a one day, one minute. You can see previous close here, or sorry, here, and then way gap down, down here. Uh, so, but usually what happens on these days, and, and Brian talked about it in his webinar with, uh, with Austin, um, usually when you get these big gap down days, you see exactly this. You see a, a market that supports and then just starts to grind back. So it's really difficult to short anything on these days when there's a big gap down because a lot of the times what happens is, is the SPY will tend to grind back. So I'm in my head looking at it going, Okay, 200 shares, a dollar stop loss. Okay, that's $200 max loss. Okay, perfect. So if I take a $200 loss on my starter and it hit my line and it goes a dollar against me, I pick the wrong line. That doesn't mean I'm done for the day. That just means I'm reassessing the trade, okay? My max loss is not 200 bucks. But if it hits it, I'm not done for the day. I'm not, I'm not just like completely and totally debilitated, can't make it back, can't do anything. I'm gonna go contemplate life, hold my head in my hands and wonder if I can do this. No. Now, when I'm long 200 shares, let me explain how this plays out, okay? We're gonna use a little bit of math here, guys. If uh, you guys like math, I like math. Do you like math? Let's do math together. We're going to explain this in a mathematical way. So if our original average is 61.60, our stop loss is a penny below a dollar a share away. That's going to be a stop loss of 60.59, right? 200 shares, okay? That is a dollar and a penny worth of risk. So that means we're going to roughly lose about $201. You, you follow me now? You with me? Are, are we all together at this point? All right, so it's a dollar worth of risk. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that right there. This is our average, this is our risk, this is our shares, this is the amount of risk, and this is total loss. So now, forgive my kids if you can hear them in the background, I think they're torturing each other, uh, but they will survive. Uh, so. Now, let me explain what happens here. So if my 
portion to get out of this is 100 shares, okay? I'm just gonna walk you through how this plays out. My average is 61.60. If you remember, VWAP was roughly right about here at this point, okay? So my exit on this is a little bit before VWAP. I tend to like whole numbers. Uh, I generally round it off, so I would have been 62.20 probably had I still been in the position, and that was my original thought was 62.20. So this is target, so that means that I would have made 60 cents a share on half my position, so that would have been a realized amount of $60. Now, watch what happens here, okay? This is uh, uh, amount of realized, and this is total realized thus far. Okay, now remember I've got a 6160 average. It's hit my target for half. Now what do I do? I've moved my stop to 6120. Okay, that's a new low of the day, a little bit below. I don't do a penny, I do like two, three, four, five cents below, something like that. Now, guess what? What's my risk now? My risk now is from 6160, so that means I have a minus 40 cent risk on a hundred shares, right? So what's my max loss on that position? Minus 40, guess what? If I stop out here at a new low of the day, what's my realized gains? Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.